I am cutting down this section of I-beam because it's going to become, along with this 3 8 by 3 bar stock and those other pieces, it's going to become a small grater blade so we can level out the sheep pen areas. So I just went through this with the plasma cutter. Ha! To walk you through what I plan, I don't know if this will work, but I think for what I need, it'll be just fine. I'm going to make a single fast hitch out of some one inch uh, thick stock solid bar that will come back and attach to this. I could do pivot mechanism, but I don't think I'll ever I've got a regular plow, which I'll set up a snow plow. I'll set up as a greater blade under the belly. So this is just for dragging and doing some leveling. I can adjust the pitch angle with that. So I just am going to make this a solid connection. So straight bar back from the fast hitch insert that I'll fabricate. Um, some kind of a connector out of one of these uh, box tubes, square tubes or rectangular tubes and then weld that on with a piece of this welded at the bottom and some bracing just to create kind of the the lip. What do you call that? The lip. Um, if it was narrow, it'd be a tooth, a long tooth. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. So right now, I'm going to cut a notch in this so that when I slide this in, I'll have to weld on some additional pieces up top this is where the fast hitch latch will settle down in. So let me grind that out. On this old farm all, they use a fast hitch. This bar is about an inch and a quarter wide and this opening up here is about, I think two and three quarter inches tall. This stock that I got is one inch by two inches. So it's too short, but I'll build up the front end. Come around here this locks into place like that. Now, because it's too short, it rocks up. But if I fill in that void up there, then that will sit flat. That will lock this into, there we go. That'll sit flat and that will lock this into place. And I will shim up the sides. I've got some eighth inch flat bar. I'll just weld some on either side so it doesn't move from side to side. Add a little steel on top and that should be plenty for this just for dragging with the bar this two inch bar sitting flat up front and right on this uh, drawbar um, that's the drawbar so i'm not quite sure what you call this officially but anyway i wanted to figure out now what is the space i've got to take up so i just grabbed some reamer bits i had handy and that's about the where are we there. That's about the diameter I need, so I'll measure that just uh, and then mill down some stock, weld it on top so that fits snugly in there. I'll taper it a bit like the real thing. So I measured that shaft there just to check that gap size, and it was about 0.35 inches, so I just zeroed out the calipers and checked my scrap pile, and I've got... I'll just move that. Anyway, this piece happens to be just about thick enough, so I'll cut off a little section and weld it onto the top of that. I have tacked this on and then just did a test fit, rounded the top a little bit to fit in the profile there, and looks good. So now I will weld that on permanently and just grind the sides down flat. The hitch is tacked together. So I'll go over this. That's MIG right now. And I did uh, grind off all the, the old rust and mill scale, but that's just sort of tacking it together. I will go over that with uh, the stick here afterwards, but that'll fit in there. I've got my cheesy fast hitch, quick and dirty, but it'll work. Sorry about my finger. I took those welded on stops off. And I still have to put my little blade down at the bottom, but 
what it'll do. Those of you who are Farmall Cub purists are gonna hate me or laugh, but this works. I wouldn't do this if I were pulling a plow or something, but at least for now until I can cut some real uh, Farmall fast hitch uh, stabs, blades, whatever, at least this will work. I do have taller stock and I will make a CNC cut file for those and see if I can cut some out properly but I need this soon. So I just marked this 3 8 by 3 inch bar stock. And I'll cut it off and weld it to the bottom. That's sort of what it'll look like. I am going to put with... 10 feet of that because I wanted to cut some pieces off and put little angle brackets in maybe four or five across there just to support that blade and it's not hardened it's not really a like a dozer blade edge or anything like that but for what we're doing and the leveling off of the little sheep paddock areas and then the occasional like cinder or lava cinder driveway rehab that'll work just fine I think I think. Got beads down the front. Well, that's the back and the front. And Marcus is working on the solar we're helping him with. That, by the way, is just a beautiful camper rig. Anyway, time to put in the braces and I should be able to use this. Got the air compressor running, but I cut one of these, it's pretty close. It'll just take a little little love. Each is just slightly different, but I'm going to cut out three more of these with the plasma torch. Let me see if I can do this and show you. Works pretty well. I should have had it angled forward just slightly, but it's kind of hard to do and hold the phone and watch what I'm doing to the phone. more. My wife and Ginger, the black mouth cur, are heading off for the evening walk. I will go join them out on the prairie here in a little bit. But first, I'm gratering. So I just made one pass. I just came over here, made one pass down, and I think she's going to work. And I gotta go back to two hands. I am going to call that a success for just a quick and dirty blade. I hit some pretty big rocks in here and didn't bend anything. I did put the upright in. Like I said, just quick and dirty. That's all I'm doing today. Time to go for a walk. Good morning. I want to give you an update on the little grater blade I made. It works, but I bent it already. It's not the end all be all, but for what I needed to do last night, it worked fine. But I'll show you what we got. 
I have basically a 10 by 22 foot pad I needed to level out here. And we are near Flagstaff, Arizona. This is all volcanic. Like that mountain back there was an old volcano. There are a bunch of cinder cones up behind it. All over this prairie, there are lava rocks. And when we do driveways, we don't get cinders, or I'm sorry, we don't get gravel. We get lava cinders that are crushed or just sorted and graded and brought out. So anyway, this soil is really rocky and the little grater on the back that I made worked fine for this. And this little pad and bringing, uh, creating a bit of a ramp down here, but you can see some of the, the rocks, the BFRs that we've got out here. And I did hit one of those that was pretty deeply buried. And I bent the bar in the back. Maybe a little hard to tell, it's not much. Uh, I hit a rock over on this side. And the little cub that could, Penny, man, she was a trooper. She just kept trying to pull and it bent the blade back a little bit. But it's still working fine for what I'm doing. At some point, I will cut this off and turn this, uh, my my quick, <laughs> quick and dirty uh, fast hitch insert into a lift. And then I will come off there and here on the final drives with a trailing link back and then use this with a top, an adjustable top link. And that way it'll come, sorry, let me do it on this one. It'll come from there back to the greater blade, which is under the dirt here. And then uh, I'll weld a tab on so it can articulate up and down. And then the top link will just do the movement. Unfortunately, that gets rid of my ability to tilt using this, I won't be able to tilt it side to side. So I'm not sure, we shall see. But I did wanna give you an honest update that I bent even our one inch by two inch solid steel bar yesterday. Other than that, she worked fine. And I'm gonna use her for cleaning up the third spot. All right, one last spot I cleared out. This will be the 10 by 20 foot hay shed. And the little greater blade is still working. The little greater blade that could. So, so far, I'm happy with that. It did what I needed to. It's not perfect. I would hope maybe that somebody else will learn from my experience. I should have known that that might bend under enough pressure. But, hey, there are big rocks in here. And it saved me a ton of work. So, got that spot down there. Another one off to the left. And this one all done. So with that, I will leave you. Nothing else except I want to show you little baby tarantula. Just for scale. This is a small one.